The moms are a little busy running around. What are they doing? They're dressing sexy. They're flirting with men. These are mothers getting as much attention as they can. And what do the mothers say to their daughters? I don't care what you say. This is my life now, and I'll live it any way I want to. All right, right or wrong? Probably wrong as far as you're concerned, right, guys? Right. All right, this is Karen and Doreen. They say their mother dresses and acts so sexy that mother got everyone kicked out of a family reunion last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened with your mother at the family reunion? Well, she comes in. She knew we were going to a family reunion. It was on the 4th of July. We'd already planned this big get-together with all the family. Well, she comes in, she's wearing this sweater. It's a cut up to here sweater. You could see her chest, her cleavage and everything. No and you problem. have to understand, no this is a, like a Christian, Southern Baptist Christian family reunion. <clears throat> and she comes in with Daisy Dukes, cut all the way up to her butt <gasps> like that. Her boyfriend comes in with slashed jeans, chains whipped, things hanging off his nipples. Off his nipples. He's 27 years old, he's 27. And she's 40, fixed me 43. They're all over each other like they're two little teenagers in love. And my uncle, my um, Great uncle says, Great uncle so. comes over and he take goes, your mother and please leave, take please. your mom and leave. And they don't come said, back. take your mother and leave the family yes, reunion. Yes, yeah. leave. They, I mean, they were so embarrassed. These people are wearing skirts down to their ankles, and here your mom is with shorts all the way up to her all butt. All over, like Cut. that. And they were just tongue and hands everywhere. What has everywhere. gotten into mother? What's going on, girls? Well, she lost weight about two, two years, years ago. ago. I mean, mom looks good, I have to admit, but the way she's dressing, my God. I'm uh -uh. 21 years old, Sally, and I dress somewhat conservatively. I don't even dress like that. Right. No way. Now, at the mall, a man probably. Opposition mother? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he came up to me and said, uh, how much for your sister? I said, that's not my sister, that's my mother, and she's not for sale. Bug off. Leave, you know? Yeah, that makes me feel so... Oh, yeah. That's like going that's down the street last night. That's if I have to go in public we walked down, What happened last night? Last night we were walking down the streets to go see the sights in New York, and I walked 10 feet behind her, behind Mom, because I was so embarrassed. She wears these cut-offs, these cut jeans, she slashed them all up. There's no butt. Cuts the butt out of them. Ooh. Wears a leather jacket and a see-through shirt, and walks downtown like this, and I'm in the back. I stood way back because I didn't want to be around her. And these guys are just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And this one guy's walking by with either his wife or his girlfriend. He almost breaks his neck turning around to see her butt <laughs> and his old lady smacks the crap out of him and she goes oh good <laughs> and keeps on going it's I like, like no it. put clothes I on mom please where are y'all like from, that. We're from florida. florida really does yeah. anybody else dress like this in no. your town no. well not, not a mother not, not a we're grandmother from. No. Now, I have friends that don't even dress that bad. No. She, Doreen's mom even models sexy things in front of your In front of my husband. Mom used to live with me. She lived with me for about a year and a half ago, and she lived with me for about eight months. Well, she's got this, uh, it's like an orange, crunchy, real short dress. That she right? wears with no panties. That's cut, no panties. No panties. She bends over, you see it all. Right. And she comes out modeling, and she was doing it for me to start with. My husband's sitting in the chair, they're watching TV, and she comes up and does like this and says, how does it look on me? Does it look okay? Does this look fine? How does this He's like, look? Uh, yeah, it looks uh, real he goes, good. yeah, that looks good, Karen. That looks good. So he just got up and went to the bedroom. You know, here I am. I was like, Mom, put some she clothes can't model on. for my husband. My husband doesn't. My well, husband yeah, I would think the family it. ought to be in chaos. She went to the granddaughter's beauty pageant. Oh God, yes, to my daughter's. I told her it was two. I told her two weeks in advance. Well, no, wait. How old's your thing. daughter? She's two. Oh, right she now. was a baby beauty pageant. Yeah, she okay. was going for the peewee division, and I told Mom two weeks in advance that. We were going for the um, beauty pageant to come dressed formal. It was formal. a formal event. Okay, she gets there again. Another the sweater same cut outfit off. She wore to Daisy the Duke's reunion. cut off. Her boyfriend's in leather this time with cuts and stuff. Chains running down. I asked her. I said, "Mom, sit in the back. Don't let no one see you. You're in the back." She sat over there. I sat over here. I took no pictures ever with my daughter. Wouldn't let my daughter near. Wouldn't even acknowledge that she was my mother. I was so embarrassed. Is she a bad influence on the grandchildren? Oh yes. with the knee, the thigh highs. On television. On television, and my two-year-old two says, there's Nana. I said, no, that's not Nana. She sees prostitutes, she thinks a prostitute is Nana. Now, is she a good mother? Is she spending a lot of time with you? No. no. No, no, no. She likes she to go out. She spends it with her little 27-year-old boyfriend. Mm -hmm. When I would date, someone I would date, Yes, she's she's not really. She's not like a mother. She's like just like a sister, a sister. having a another sister. sister. Except this sister, I have to worry about getting raped or killed or murdered or something because of the way she acts. She's very has she always been a little like this? She's always been a flirt her whole life. Her whole life. Whole right. life. She's always but been a flirt. But it's the two years ago that really capped it off it, by losing. Oh right. yes. It kicked her in the butt. All right, let's meet mom if we can. <laughs>
Well, I gotta tell you, she's a very young looking mom. Yes, she is. Yeah. Got a blanket very though. young looking. Can she have my jacket? Can we cover her up? So. I don't think so. You, you are very young on. looking, Thank honestly. You. Uh, can I ask why you dress so sexy? First of all, what'd you think of your daughters, what they were saying? Part of it's totally true. Part of it's a little it's natural. It's all true. It's all true, Mom. You dress like that all the time. All the time. When do we bad, ever bad, see bad. you when you don't dress like right. that? When have you ever been over and looked decent? When do we get to see you unless we're going time. to a bar? You <laughs> really? So, deal with it. What are the kids going to see like a grandmother? They have never seen you like a grandmother. You always look like a street walker. Did you hear what Amber said? Thought Nana was a prostitute on TV. Nana, let my children call her grandma. That is it's pathetic. Be Nana. Nana. It has to be Nana. There's no grandma. Well, uh, <clears throat> was it the weight loss that started this all off? Yes. Yeah. Partly. Do partly. you care what they think? Yes no. and no. Yes no. and no. <laughs> no. What's she the cares, yes she part? Changed. The yes part is, yeah, I guess I do need to feel, you know, that they do respect me. But you need to then respect again, us to put some clothes on. Really? It makes no. us look bad. No. The part you don't, the, you said yes and no. The no part is what? Because I want to be me, because this is me. This is the way I feel. If I want to dress like this, they ought to be coping with it, all right? Coping with what? Right. Do you want to be a street walker? No. So, uh -uh. Wait, are, you jealous? are you jealous because I get the attention? Mom, no, Mom. Oh, 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 I get no. just as much attention if I want to hang my butt out. That's right. My wanted to hang her. Is there so. is there a problem because the boy is this one boyfriend or a lot of boyfriends? It's one boyfriend, it's one. but it's been several in the past. Young boyfriend. She doesn't. There ain't been one her age yet. They're all in their twenties, and okay. it's getting lower every time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> For yeah, someone. I always tease her. I say, well, you're waiting at the high school. At least I don't go to the school. convalescent home looking for my husband. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does mom get gifts for men? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jewelry, trips, money, anything she wants. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It's just like being a hoe, mom. It's you're just being like a being a hoe, a prostitute. So, you want to have sex mm -hmm. with me? Pay me. Give me these things. So. That's exactly what that is. So. All right. I mean, the I one thing I think that's concerning them, that's concerning me, is they feel that you do not uh, give them enough attention. Yes. Right. No, I feel like I don't have a mother. No mother. No and mother. No grandmother it's a sister. for our children. I don't have a mother. Us. Our okay. kids don't have a grandma. Are you listening? Do you want me to be they Betty Crocker? Do you want me to stay at home and bake the cookies and all that crap? You it would be bake. nice for one time in 10 years. <laughs> Too bad. Uh -uh. In 10 years, that's hell. not me. In 21 years, let's get it right. That's not me. Why don't you turn to mother and tell her how you feel? You know it upsets us, and I hate to see you like this, and you need to get some clothes on. Because I'm not getting no more weight to protect your ass. I got news for you. <laughs> Mom, it really upsets me the way you dress, and the way you dress in front of my kids. In the kids, in front of our husbands. That's no example for in my kids. In front of dad, and dad's <laughs> too bad. Too bad. You don't think you should change? Her Maybe halfway. They meet me halfway. Her. What would halfway be? Let's see if we can arrange a compromise. What would halfway Maybe be? Maybe panties. <laughs> <laughs> panties. We'll no. be right back. <laughs> no. She's got on a pair of tight jeans, a bodysuit, and she stands up and she tells everybody, well, if everybody can walk around in their lingerie, so can I. And she pulls down her pants and then goes, <laughs> <laughs> You told us there have been many situations where your male friends have asked you to sleep with mother. Is that true? Yes, yeah, so I had this friend um, who was like an older brother to me, and he used to, he'd call my house knowing I wasn't there to talk to my mother. And I'm not dead, and I will dress this way until I am. Your mother's name? Candace. Candace. Candace flashes men her breasts. Yes. Go, girl, go. <laughs> Candace. <laughs> Candace moves people. Are you more like the parent in this relationship, right? And yeah. your mother's like the child? What does mother do that's making you crazy? <laughs> the way 
way she acts. When we go to bars, she's got to be the center of attention. I'll call her mom, mom, mom. She'll go, Chris, quit calling me mom. How do you expect me to get picked? Well, she says, Chris, how, don't keep call, quit calling me mom in public. How do you expect me to get laid? <laughs> I mean, they have lingerie contests at your bar? Every Thursday evening, she, there's lingerie night, That's and an models walk around the bar, you cool. know, showing, showing off lingerie, whatever. So she's got, on, she's got on a pair of tight jeans, a bodysuit, and she stands up, and she tells everybody, well, if everybody can walk around in their lingerie, so can I. And she pulls down her pants and then goes, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, <laughs> showing everybody. What is Look. with your mother? What do you think it is? She's a recycled teenager. Oh. All right. A recycled yes. teenager. Yes. I mean, when I used, to, I used to dress, okay, when I was, you know, younger going to high school, I used to dress like that, but a little bit worse. And she'd call me a slut and all, you know, what not, what mothers do. But now she reversed, you know, turned the tables and now she's doing it and it's okay for her to do it, you know, but. <laughs> when you were coming out here, uh, my producer told me that she picked up the flight attendants with they? Oh. <laughs> The women flight attendants? No. The men, one, uh, when we first got on the plane, this guy greeted us at the, at the plane, and um, I asked him for some cards. And he goes, oh, okay, well, I'm going to have to get a kiss for it. And I'm like, uh, uh, and I looked at my mom. She comes running back from the plane. <laughs> I'm here, I'll do it. <laughs> and, she, and when they walk by, she'll slap them on the tush. <laughs> Even strangers? Strangers. Absolute strangers. Even when we're riding in a car, We'll be riding in a car, and I'll have the, the window rolled down. You know, this is a couple years back. She'll, she'll make me stick my hand out the window and try to grab people's butts like they're on a bike <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, let's have Mom come on out, and let's see what... Uh... <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Want to borrow my dollar? <laughs> Candice, what's the problem you here? Money, Your right? daughter is really worried about you. What, what's going on? I don't have a problem. You don't have any no. problem at all. Your daughter says that you used to be a workaholic. You used to I be still a, am. <laughs> still I am? At a real job. At a real job. <laughs> what's with the short skirts and the halter tops and the bikinis and the tight pants? They make me feel good, young, alive. I'm gonna be 50 years old in a couple weeks, and I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's all yours, my dear. What I just wanna say is that there's a time and a place for anything, and that is not the time. If you're on 42nd Street, that's one thing, but if you're gonna go to a beauty pageant or if you're gonna go to a reunion, that is not the time, because that looks disgusting. You don't look sexy, you look slutty. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go ahead. There's not a 42nd Street in California. <laughs> I feel for the first mother, more power to her, and she should hope, her kids should hope that when they get they that old, they look like her. Thank really? You. So you're Thank side you. with the mothers? That's okay. 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 Yes, for the mother, the first mother. You have a lovely figure. You could put on clothes and you still would be attractive. Yes. And you would have the love of your children, which to me, a mother and a daughter relation is much too important to look the way you do. Thank and you. if that makes them unhappy, it wouldn't be worth it to me. I envy your figure, but you should envy me because I have the love of my daughters. Thank you. Uh. Your daughter says that you like men too much. What's wrong with that? Too much. Too much is she likes them tall and short and fat and thin That's right. and old and young. Go and girl. All of them. Do you think Candace is jealous of the way you dress? You mean Chris? Yes, Chris, sorry. Absolutely. You do? Yeah. Hell no. I am not jealous. Because if I wanted to old. dress like that, I could. But I choose not to. Why? Are you afraid of being assaulted in any No, no way. I was in the Navy for 12 years. I know hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I know need <laughs> combat. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
What does mother wear? She'll wear very short shirts and short dresses that, and then she wear like, when she wears a short dress, she wear a thong, that when she bends over, you could see her whole entire butt. I like the way I feel, and I like the way I look, and I love the attention. What about staying out all night and, and the children? Well, as long as they're taken care of, and they have a sitter, and they're fed, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's go down a little younger. Damaris, how old are you, hon? 12. You're 12 years old. And she says that her mother, mother's name is Gladys, uh, acts so sexy that men follow her down the street? Yeah. Okay. Are um, you very upset about this? Yeah. Tell me how you feel. I feel angry at her because, you know, because the way she dresses, you know, people be, when, one time we had a hide in a pizzeria, Hide in it? Why did you have to hide? Because this guy started following around with his following around us in his car. And so we had to hide in Peter until he left. Were you afraid? Yeah. You hide mother's clothes when she's not looking. Yeah, because they're, they're so trampy that I don't like them. So I, you know, I hide them like behind the bed or something <coughs> so she won't find them. And what else do you do? I, um... Mm, I hide you know, the rest of the clothes, and stuff like that. <coughs> what does mother wear? She'll wear very short shirts and short dresses that, and then she wear like, when she wears a short dress, she wear a thong, that when she bends over, you could see her whole entire butt. How does that make you feel? If you feel that I don't have a mother, that I only have like a little sister. Are there any, are there any other brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have three sisters and one brother. And how do they feel about this? They feel the same way. Okay. How long has mother been dressing this way? Like six <coughs> months ago after she had her tummy tuck. <laughs> Damaris, after she had what? A tummy tuck. She had an operation on her stomach. Why? What was wrong with her stomach? Because um, she had, since she had like the five kids, all cesareans, and so it was like all blubbery in their muscles and her stomach. So they had to pull it down and made it flat. Does mom stay out late? Yeah, she, one time she came at 6.30 in the morning and I asked her, why did she come so late? And she, she said, because I felt like it. And then she didn't care. Abdomen, abdomen. Maris' mom flirts with guys all the time? Yeah. She has a sexy answering machine, is that right? Yeah, it's, it's like a 900 number. You call, she'd be saying, um, roses are red, violets are blue, and her sexy voice that I never want to call. You never want to call home because you don't want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Damaris, are you worried that mother might get attacked? Yeah, because cause of the way, you know, she walks and the way, you know, she feels. You know, but you know be. something? You're very grown up for 12, don't you think, Damaris? Yeah. Okay, let's meet Mother Gladys and uh, see what her daughter is upset about. Gladys, come on out. <laughs> Gladys, <laughs> Damaris is only 12 years old, and she's very upset about the way you dress. Can you tell us why you dress this way? I like the way I feel, and I like the way I look, and I love the attention. What about staying out all night and, and the children? Well, as long as they're taken care of, and they have a sitter, and they're fed, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> 
I agree with the fact that you know you want to express yourself and you're beautiful, but yeah. you have a responsibility to your 12 year old daughter, and that should come first as a mother. I, I before I go out. Please meet Candace. Now, Candace has a very unusual story. Six months ago, her mother, Abby, yeah. up and left her. Mm -hmm. She left you, your father, and your brother at home. Mm -hmm. Just like, I mean, I think all of us who are mothers at one time have wanted to get up and leave and let them all go their way, but we've Been never there, done, done that. that. She got up and she did it and she went to another state. Yeah, we live in Oregon and she went to Los Angeles. Candace says that this was just the beginning. Her mother uh, moved in with her best friend's teenage sister. Yeah. Became a phone sex operator. <laughs> oh, Abby. What has, uh, has this done to the family? Well, all, everybody, um, everybody's just amazed that, everyone's that amazed. she turned into this kind of person. I mean, it's so it was ridiculous. a real dramatic change, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Have you asked her to come back home and live with you? I don't want her to come home. Why? Because um, she's not happy with my dad, but um, I just want her to start acting like a regular mother. Start treating. How does she act, hon? Well, she calls me and tells me about her dates and about what her uh, phone sex call was about and and stuff like that. She just, <laughs> She just tells me details I really don't want to hear. Personal, physical details. Yeah. Okay. She um, dates guys that she meets that night, or, or that her friend. Um, and she sleeps with him. Yeah. Or that my friend, my teenage friends, hook her up with. She'll, she'll go and party with them or whatever, get drunk, and then say, "Oh, it was an accident," or but it's not. Is your feeling that she doesn't care about you anymore? Yeah. When I call her, she doesn't pay attention. <coughs> How long since you've seen Mother? It's been uh, about almost six months. And she tells people that you're not her daughter. Yeah, I'm her stepdaughter. Because you're too old. Yeah, she um, told Are me you her stepdaughter or are you her daughter? <laughs> no, I'm her daughter. You're her I don't know if I still want to be, but. <laughs> OK. This is going to be your chance to tell Mother face to face what you think, all right? Let's bring Mother out. Abby, come on. <laughs> Abby, can we hear why you're doing this and what your side of the story is? Well, I was in a really abusive relationship for many, many years. Um, really unhappy, very, very bad drug problem. And uh, Who I cleaned had the drug up. Problem? I did. I took real good care of the kids. I probably should have left a long, long time ago. But uh, I stayed for the kids, make sure they're old enough and everything. And then I cleaned up and started talking to someone long distance, and they made me realize that there is a life out there that I didn't have to settle. A phone and, sex life? Well, that's just that's, that's easy. That's easy money. I make more money at this than I did with the accounting job I was making. So is working. McDonald's. That's easy money. No. <laughs> it could have been anything. You could have made anything. Well, I you just, got it. Flaunt it. That, you know, I just this is what I want to do, and I enjoy doing it. What is and so great about the phone sex job? Can you tell it's me? It's disgusting. It's I can stay at home and work the hours I want to work. I make really good money, and I don't have to see any of the people. I don't have the stress that I did. I was crunching numbers for a while, and it just got to be a real big stress. This is what I. This is this. I'm happy. Did you tell her you I'm happy for the first it? time in like almost. You know, 15 years. I try. I try to tell her that I want my mom back, and she goes. But do you oh, want you want a drug addicted? I used to stay in the bedroom all the time. I never came out. No one even knew I existed. You know. I, I mean, did. I hid. I was on the computer 24/7. That's all I did. Well, we did everything together. Well, go ahead. <laughs> oh, um, you know, this is my mother right here in the audience, and she's 45 years old. This is how you dress in the daytime. You do not dress like a whore in the daytime. I dress anyway. You look like whores. Whores. Nothing but whores. I'll be right back. You told us there have been many situations where your male friends have asked you to sleep with mothers. Is that true? Yeah. 
house. I had this friend um, who was like an older brother to me, and he used, he'd call my house knowing I wasn't there to talk to my mother. And I'm not dead, and I will dress this way until I am. on this show whose kids are extremely upset about the sexy way that moms behave, act, dress. You re might remember a show we did called My Mother Doesn't Wear Enough Clothes, which I guess is pretty true of today's show. Oh, okay. uh, Shannon was devastated about the sexy way her mother Nina dressed. Can you please take a look at this clip? Shannon, you told us there have been many situations where your male friends have asked you to sleep with mother. Is that true? Yes, I had this friend um, who was like an older brother to me, and he used, he'd call my house knowing I wasn't there to talk to my mother, and he, she thought he was just trying to be a friend to her, and he used to ask her out all the time, and then when she wasn't around, he'd ask her, oh, will she ever sleep with me, and all stuff, but then she used to sit there and flirt with him, and he asked her out to dinner one night, and she said something like, oh, I haven't had a 21-year-old for dinner in a long time. One time she took my diaphragm and flushed it down the toilet because she thought it would stop me from going out with anybody. And um, she was younger then, and she's been very precocious, and I'm <coughs> doing a lot of things to try to stop this. And I'm not dead, and I will dress this way until I am. Okay. Yes. Shannon was very upset about the sexy way her mother dressed. Let's see if we had any effect on her mother, Nina. Nina, come on out. Look lovely. Here I am up here. Where? What Where? made you oh. stop? <laughs> what made you stop dressing that way? You look very um, nice. Okay, well the show was fun, but afterwards on the ride home we felt kind of embarrassed, so to speak. And also my daughter hit a very deep depression after that. I won't go into a lot of detail. Not because of us, did she? And well, a lot of things, but you had even said my daughter looked like the saddest person you had ever seen. That's right. Which That's was true. Right. And through a lot of interventions and a lot of time with her and a lot of talking, I mean communication, we really needed to communicate. Surely. And I needed to stop acting like her best friend and needed to start acting like her mother. You hear that, Gladys? Uh, Stand up, this is Shannon. Shannon, how are you now? I'm doing a lot better. You have a great oh. smile, you see? What did I, did I really say you look like one of the saddest people I'd seen? Were you one of the saddest people I'd seen? Why were you so sad? A lot of family problems and just, we weren't getting along and just things like that. I couldn't talk to her. Do you feel better now? Did the help help? Yes, it did a lot. The help help. Tell me about what mother's wearing lately. Well, she's been dressing more like a mother. You know, she dresses more appropriately now, and she respects the way I felt, and she respects the fact that she has little kids, and she realizes that you're judged by the way you dress. Which is unfortunate, but it's true. Okay, thank you. I'm glad that you're feeling a lot better. Nina, you want to talk to some of our mothers on the stage? You've been with us before on this topic. Oh, yes. We have some major problems here. It's hard to distinguish on this stage between the mothers and the daughters. And because of this, the daughters think that they are in competition with the mothers, and the mothers are using words like, well, she's just jealous of me. That is not a good distinction. Yeah, right? Exactly. Do all of you know Gilda Carl? Can I say that nice lady who has been talking to these people? Gilda Carl, who has been with us before and uh, really has her head screwed on correctly. I don't know, where should we start? Did you well, learn anything, Nina? Yes, I did. I learned that I brought my child into the world and my other two children and that they have to come first before my sexual attractions and needs. 
something that's very, very important here. A mother has to be friendly towards, not friends with, her daughter. Friendly towards? Not friends with her daughter. She is not her daughter's friend. Mm -hmm. She's got to be friendly towards, and the daughters are all crying out for, where is my mom? What happened to her? Mm -hmm. Now here, she's, she's certainly all the time. That's right. There is nothing wrong with having a good time. But when you're starting to moon people and take off your clothes in public, that goes just a little bit further than what we would expect. How long are we supposed to present this mom image if yeah, that's but, not us? But it is. <laughs> but when you're with us, you're just a child. Wait, 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 and try and give them the makeover that their daughters have begged us for. Stay with us. Gilda, do you, the mothers are gone, but do you sometimes feel that we're, it's falling on deaf ears? I mean, I've well, said things, yeah. the audience said things, and every, all the mothers are still saying, party, party, party. Well, yeah, because they feel as though their lives are running away from them, and they're what getting older. What is this? Older. Explain it to me. We, they're trying desperately to try to recapture their youth, to recycle, as you had said so, so well, to recycle their teenage years, to bring them back. But as we all know, you can't do anything about you know, the time factor. Would you deal with our first two sisters? They seem to have really been brought up without a mother, haven't you guys? Oh, yeah. Yes. No mother. But Never you know what? You're very together, young ladies. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you ever get the feeling that you guys are the mothers? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And that's the daughter. We always get asked if that's our sister. You know, it's never, is that your mother? No, it's always, is that your sister? And how do you feel about that? Well, I, I've tried to tell my mother on my 21st birthday, which was last year, yeah, we went out on my 21st birthday, and I'm like, well, Mom, this is my time. This is my 21st birthday. Yeah. Well, she goes, and there's a slit up the back of her skirt before we get to the dance it's club. It's lace. It's lace, and it's got and a lining in the inside. The lining's tore out, and she goes, well, that's great. Then we're on the dance floor dancing, and my dad and his new wife were there, and my mother takes off her shirt on the dance floor. Yep. But you see what's going on here? The, she and your father are no longer together, and no she was going to show him that she is so hot, and that's the only way she obviously knows how to get attention. Right. And this is, n this is not to be laughed at. This is really sad. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yes. Now, this is, this is what I'm very concerned about because, you know, you this guys, child's 12. All, all of you are old enough to understand right. that, yeah. first of all, we can never <laughs> change people. I'm in the business of change, right? And I can never yeah. change people. All we can do is facilitate their changing. We can motivate them to change. But what they're going to do ultimately, and you heard your mother say, what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I would suggest to all of you, do not go out with them when you feel as though people are staring at them, if you feel uncomfortable, because now you have to protect yourselves. That's right. Don't go out with them. You know, we don't live together. I'd love to bring her back to my apartment, cook some lunch for her, sit down, watch movies, you know, you got veg it. out. I want my mom back. Yeah, she's my friend, They're but all I want the mother image back. They, but you know what? You, you can't do this alone, honey. She'll do this if she wants to do it. And you're just going to miss her until she's ready to come home to but you. I can't, I can't what about our 12-year-old? But this is where, this is really what's hurting me, you know? Because what's, what's going on for you? What's, what's happening for you, sweetheart? Um, my mom's like, we're going out almost like every Saturday. How so do you feel about that? I feel like I don't have a mother. I have, feel like I have another sister, and I don't want a sister with my mom. I don't want a sister. Yeah, and what... I know you have other children in the house. What about the other kids? 
they don't they don't like the way mom dresses either because they they you know they think that they, when we watch a movie or something they might have like a hook or something they be like it, it doesn't that look like mommy I'm like ma I don't know, ma how does it feel to have your mother like look like a hooker makes me feel that like my mom died or something <gasps> or like something like that oh see, I think now it she's reflects talking back about almost as though her mother is gone gone from her life question it get worse. I just have something to say that you referred to your mother as a recycled teenager, but every teenager in this room, because I'm 17 years old, we do not dress like that. We wear underwear, and I do not show my breasts on national TV. <laughs> we'll be right back. Gilda said something, and I don't know if she said it on the air, that's very important. If your moms disappoint you, it's up to you to be who you want to be. That's right. And that, that really means an awful lot, I think. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. What do these women look like when they're dressed in a quote normal way they've been backstage getting a new look and the daughters are you excited about seeing what your mother would look like oh, yes. yes yes all right you remember sharon what she looked like before we got our hands on her oh yeah oh, god very attractive lady a little tardy there isn't she <laughs> let's take a look at uh, sharon now Is that the mother you wanted? Yes, definitely. That's, That's the mother you wanted. Too stuffy. <laughs> no, it's not. You look good, Mom. Sharon, you don't Just like it, right? Beautiful. Doesn't it's, feel like me. At least you're dressed. I they don't see everything. I understand that <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> and I must tell you, Gilda will tell you, most of the times when we've tried to help a mother change, it doesn't work. So don't feel like you're the only one, right? But every change takes time. And you, if you try wearing those clothes for a little bit of time, whether you like them or It'll not. It'll rub off. You just <laughs> may be surprised. That's right. As one redhead to another. Next, do you remember how Mom Candace looked when uh, she got here? There she is. Come on out, Candace. <laughs> I don't think Sharon bought the deal, but what do you feel? I feel great. Do you? <laughs> and of course, there was 12 year old Damaris's mom, Miss Gladys. We saw her before. There she is. Okay, Chiquita Banana, let's go. <laughs> Gladys, oh, God. Gladys, you really, muy guapa, you really look gorgeous. You absolutely do. Yes. You have the cutest little darn figure, you know that? Yes, indeed. You look gorgeous. What do you think of mom? Much better. Much better. <laughs> and last but not least, there's phone sex Abby. <laughs> Even though the callers wouldn't see her new look, her daughter will. Uh, Abby, come on. This is new Abby. Let's come on out, Abby. Wow. Wow, what a well, 
guys? Mama look all right? Yes. Question quick from our Canadian. Look like this. You You're all very beautiful, but before you look silly, but now you guys look wonderful. It's a dramatic change, and it suits you all very well. I'm very proud of you. You guys are great. Great. We'll be right back. I think it's the greatest quote in the world, but unfortunately, clothes do make the man, right? The woman. That's the woman, and yeah. that's the way people judge you. Thanks to all those people who worked very hard backstage to uh, do that job. See you next time.